So I wanted to I wanted to show you here what this looks like in a creek bed. Um, you can see all this washout. So as you're looking at the creek on this end and the rocks all piled up here, there is a giant flood that pushed all of these rocks into this area. And if I walk up closer to the bank, which I really want to show you, in this area, all that erosion underneath the bank, right here, come. This is a direct um, effect that would change the flow of the creek. Because there was a flood and the water was going so fast that it was dumping all these rocks into this area that hadn't been in this area before, then we have an issue because uh, the water is being pushed to the bank and then eroding it in, in that fashion. So if I am a fish uh, in this area or population of fish that would live here, um, the amount of fish, um, no matter if I was a small fish, a little fish, a big fish, uh, if I was a small insect, little insect, big insect, this would affect my house. So this is more of a, a density independent uh, factor that would affect populations because no matter what I was in that creek during that flood, the amount of water pressure would push me down below and I would not be in this area any longer because of the, the flow of the stream was so, so heavy uh, and it directly impacted the population of fish and insects. But now after a year, other insects and, and fish have, uh, um, you know, became part of this population again in, in this stream. So there's not really a, an issue here, of course, any longer. It doesn't take them long to find some good habitat. So um, this definitely would be a, a density independent. No matter what you were at that time during the flood, you were going to get wiped out because of the the giant amount of water that was flowing down here.